right, here's the oncoming Bantamweight force out of the great nation of Georgia, repping Team Saralongo there on the northeastern side of the U.S. May Rob Dwalish Willie. He's been on the championship course for a long time. He's got a big fight in front of him tonight. All he does is win, John, and he wins in a certain way. He pressures you and he breaks you down. I have seen so many great Bantamweights fight for Rob Dwalish Willie, and you can see they start to lose, not only physically, but in the spirit. He attacks you at a level that's higher than just your body. He's a great wrestler. He will put a pressure and pace on you that not many people can stay with. And I'm not sure that any athlete has ever muted Jose Aldo's offense as much as Dwalish Willie did back in 2022. May Rob back out of the bright lights tonight. Sugar Sean O'Malley, and you can argue a lot of these people in the building tonight are here to see him. You can argue, though, this is his stiffest challenge in the UFC. I believe so. I believe this is the toughest one. And I know he's fought Piotr Jan, the former champion. I know he's fought Pedro Munoz, but this opponent tonight is going to push him in ways that he has not been pushed before. Does Sean O'Malley use his fantastic footwork, his speed, and his mind to set enough traps to get the victory? I guess we'll see very shortly. Well, you all know the judges are looking for damage and moments of damage, and Sean O'Malley has been pretty good at providing those over the last several years in the UFC. Sugar Sean O'Malley has stepped inside the octagon. He is ready to fight. With that backdrop, here is the tail of the tape for this Bantamweight Championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Rob the Machine, Wallace Riley. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC champion of the world, Sugar Sean O'Malley. All right, Herb Dean, our referee for this one, just about to get underway. Let's do it. All right, it's usually all offense all the time out of Marab Dwalis Willie, the Georgian, the team Sarah Longo staple as this round gets underway. You got to think he's going to go to the takedown early and often. And he doesn't get discouraged when the opposition gets back up. He chains his takedowns together as good as anyone in this Bantamweight division, and he believes that will be the path of least resistance here tonight. That shot is blocked by O'Malley. He's got to move his head. All right, good start for the Sugar Show, Sean O'Malley, realizing particular success with that left hand. Yeah, he's got a great left hand. He's so long for the weight that he pops the jab and he just darts him with the left hand. And you see it on full display right now. Takedown defense is there. Now they separate. So he counters with an effective punch there, and at least in that situation, it paid to have the advantage in reach. Such a good way there. He's rocking. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly. And it hurt his opponent very bad. Oh, body shot. Man, this is wild. If you like offense, these fighters are going at it. All gas, no brakes, baby. Let's go. Uh -huh. oh, nice takedown. Yep. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment. Yep. Oh, nice combination of ground and pound here by Dwallace Williams. Mm. 
Mm, that was nice. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Dwalish Willie. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. All right, so the fighter's able to reverse position on the ground, and now he's got the dominant position. Yeah, what a great job recognizing that once he got the reversal, he went right to his offense. He didn't wait, John. He did a good job of while his opponent goes, oh my goodness, I lost the position. He said, no, no, we're not done. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that pitch. Under 90 seconds to go round one. Ooh, big knee. Nice. Nicely done. Oh, roundhouse kick. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always... Oh, oh massive diving punch, plus to the head. Looks like he's got a... Now he's going to attack his neck to try to get the rear naked choke. Some hand fighting going on here. A couple of hooks in. We'll see if he can get under the chin. Now it's getting tighter. He's almost got this choke. Oh, how to get out? He pushed the elbow. Released the bar. And turned the back down to the back. Great job. A great submission defense by the show man. Oh, that's going to be it. Oh, and there's the horn. Oh! Absolutely remarkable what this fighter was able to accomplish here tonight. As you can see, the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. Here now Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest, declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke, The Rob, the machine!